like I said, you never know who's going to show up at the B Lounge. I'm um, your host and founder, uh, William Bo Martin, right at the B Lane Network. And uh, we got a segment coming on the B Lane real soon called Info News. And I have the pleasure of sitting beside the lovely, the beautiful, the wonderful Miss Marjorie Battle, who will be our B Lane correspondent. I'm telling the people that we have Info News coming out real soon. You'll be the main correspondent giving information, some upcoming dates. Uh, some of the top stories that are happening around the world and the country and our community. So, um, first of all, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? Great, thank you. Uh, you feel okay? I feel great. Okay, <laughs> good. If you have any stories, any info news, check us out. Uh, let us know at www.thebelanenetwork.com. Please subscribe to The B-Lane. We're on Twitter, uh, at The B-Lane Network, and we also are on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So you can always find us. We're out here. And you can always email us at feature me at the B Lane Network.com. That's feature me at the B Lane Network.com. Got some stories that, that have happened recent in recent news. So what what do we have? Today? I do. One of the biggest trending stories we have right now is the Revol Geraldo Rivera right. and Trayvon Martin situation that's going on. Absolutely. Um, Geraldo recently tweeted that he felt as if Trayvon Martin was partially responsible for his death because he was wearing a hoodie. Um, and he stood by those statements, but after a conversation with his son, he states that his son made him really think about what he said. His son said, this is the first time in 35 years I have ever been embarrassed about something that my father has said. Very public. Twitter, as you all know, is one of the biggest social networks. He publicly got on Twitter and tweeted, you know, basically, I feel as if Trayvon Martin is partially responsible for his own death. Because he wore a hoodie. Because he was wearing a hoodie. So we can't wear hoodies? According to Geraldo Rivera, as a minority, we have to take more responsibility for how we present ourselves. I'll say this, you know, we are all entitled to our opinion, right. but that was a little irresponsible, right. considering, right. you know, what's going on and how emotional the whole country is. So he has retracted, stating that, you know, I don't apologize. Well, he apologizes for what he said, but he more apologizes for his delivery. Hmm. Maybe his language. So he really, he, so he really meant it. Well, you know, side, <laughs> sidebar. If you want to kind of, you know, a sidebar is Russell Simmons is not buying that at all. Russell okay. Simmons is like, I don't like your apology. You know, you can't backtrack. Right. Uh, this just, is not correct. I, I, I'm with Russell on this one. So, Good. He, he dropped the ball, but he's trying to make up for it now. Hi, I'm Marjorie Battle, and you're watching Info News on the B Lane Network. Okay. Where, on a more higher note, okay. <laughs> there was a um, protest, a medicinal marijuana protest in San Francisco. Yeah. Um, a lot of the patients, as mm -hmm. they like to call themselves, and they are patients, mm -hmm. they are patients, um, are upset because in October, they started being heavily scrutinized in mm -hmm. that area, the Southern California area. Um, a lot of the they call them pot shops, mm -hmm. have been closed down, and a lot of the patients aren't able to get their medicine. So right. there was a big protest, and um, this one business owner said, you know, before his business was a pot shop, he was afraid to keep it open until 9 o'clock. But now that, you know, he, he runs a pot shop, he mm -hmm. keeps it open 9 or later because it's a lot safer, it's a lot better environment. Um, they employ a lot of people, mm -hmm. and there's a lot more healthier people. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, so what he's saying is that these people smoking weed has cut down on crime? You can allude to that. He didn't say it verbatim that way, but that is what one would gather from reading this article. Now, do you mind telling people, <clears throat> would, would you be against them legalizing marijuana? No, I, I would not be against them legalizing marijuana. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Okay. You know, so... Okay. All right. Well, I tell you what, we got some more from our correspondent here, Marjorie Battle. So stay tuned for more of the B Lane Network. We're bringing it to you. And once again, we're back here with Marjorie Battle, B Lane correspondent. I'm a big Whitney Houston fan. I'm, I'm sure you are. Uh, I like Bobby Brown, too. You know, <laughs> and it's my prerogative. Um, but she has a lot of controversy with, with her death. And, okay. um, and now I think they're talking about uh, maybe doing a movie or something. So you, you, what do you know about that? Right. There has been talks um, about them doing a movie about her life. And interesting enough, Bobby Christina has expressed interest in playing a part in the movie. They haven't okay. said what part or any details about that. But it, she has expressed interest. In the movie, and 
I think that's great that she wants to carry on, you know, the legacy of entertainment for the family. But I just wonder if this could be so close to home mm -hmm. for her, especially with the death being so close, um, so near. It just happened. And also with her being an amateur, she hasn't really done a lot of work. And as an amateur, you know, that could be a little overwhelming right, to right. take that on. So I think, you know, she has a, a, a I guess, a great network of people to reach out to absolutely but you just got to pick and choose she does want to get into entertainment she wants to carry on the the name mm -hmm. you know she wants to take her mom's name she wants to the houston drop name. bobby christina and go as christina houston wow yeah christina houston ouch to cute. bobby that's, brown that's yeah i mean yeah. bobby ouch. bobby 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 been getting a bad rap you know and i don't want to go into detail maybe that's something for another show yeah but um it's it's kind of sad in a sense you know uh, that was his wife, you know, and that is his daughter. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, we can um, we can see great things from them later. We can see that that mended or what have you yeah. that the situation becomes better. So, either way, much much love to you, Christina Houston, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bobby Brown, of course, Whitney Houston. So, uh, Marjorie Battle, B Lane correspondent, thank you for coming. Thank you. And uh, we look forward to some more great information from you uh, next time here on the B Lane Network. Yes. <laughs> Bringing it to you. How are you on this beautiful day? Great. Even Thank though it's you. raining outside, you look very bright and sunshiny. Thank you. Yeah, so how's the dog? Oh, Jack is wonderful. He's beautiful. The dog likes to keep his tongue out. He's an infant. Oh, just like baby. Okay. Well, either way, what do we have exciting, uh, what kind of news we have uh, for the B-Lang people today? Okay, so previously we've talked about um, Gingrich. We've talked about right. um Romney. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about everybody, but we really haven't touched on Obama. All so right. I have some Obama news today. Good news. Um, he's announced that he supports gay marriage. So that could be good or bad news for <laughs> whoever, depending on, depending on your stance. For mm -hmm. me, I think it's good because I think everyone should have the equal right to be miserable. <laughs> Just kidding. So you don't think it's um, anything wrong with gay marriages? No. Really? No. So you, it's not a man should be with a woman? Or I, woman I mean, be a... it's it's so funny because I like to consider myself somewhat of a traditionalist, and I do have a lot of conservative views, but I also feel that a lot of men and women have abused um, the constitution of marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just um, gays that would be harming or ruining marriage. I mean, right. we ruin our own marriages. Yeah. Um, Heterosexual marriages, right? Yeah, heterosexual Absolutely. marriages, Absolutely. yes. I, I'm in, you know, I, I can attest to that. Yeah. I, mean, I, have, I played a part in my divorce, so, um, and I was married to a woman, so. Right. Uh, <laughs> That's what I mean, you know, men and women are, don't take it serious right. um, anymore. It definitely doesn't have the same, I guess, power that it used to or the same stance that it used to. Well, since you, since you brought this up, and that's a very interesting topic, uh, gay marriage, uh, what about kids? You know, how do you feel about uh, children in those in those type of marriages? Do you think it sends mixed messages, or I think it definitely sends mixed messages, and I think that um, it can be a little tricky. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I think we're going forward. Mm -hmm. I think ten years ago, um, it may have been even more peculiar or bizarre. But we live in a time in a time now where there's thirteen, fourteen year old girls in middle school saying they're gay and holding hands. Absolutely. So I don't think that um, it's as bizarre right. as it was when the concept was first introduced. So Those are my thoughts. It's the new norm almost. Yeah, yeah. almost. And, like, and it goes back to heterosexual relationships where... Um, damaged, maybe? They're, they're damaged. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I mean, to each his own. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Obama. Yeah. Go Obama. There's that Go a way Obama. to get more votes, I guess. So. And I think, you know, strategically, it's six months before election, Absolutely. so... I think it's political. You can draw your own conclusion. Okay. Um, well, but... you know what they're going to do. The other, the mainstream will say that it's very a political move. Yeah, but I think that besides that, um, he seems to be a very, very liberal guy. Yeah. And I can see him supporting that, whether he was the president or not. Okay. So. All right, very well. Those are my thoughts. All right, what else do we have? Thank you. Um, the next story is about Facebook. Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Everybody is, loves Facebook. Everybody loves Facebook. Well, apparently everybody doesn't love Facebook. All right. Warren Buffett, we all know who Warren Buffett is. Yeah, He's big like money. this big money um, financial guru. Um, he does not like Facebook at all. And what brings us to the story is that Facebook is going public. They just bought Instagram. I remember me and you had a conversation about Instagram. Right. It was bought by Facebook for a million dollars. Excuse me, a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. One billion dollars. Um, so 
we're now approaching Facebook announcing their IPO, uh, initial public offering. And what that is is when you want to buy shares of mm -hmm. that company. Well, Warren Buffett says, I'm not buying in to Facebook. Okay. I don't like it. I don't agree what it stands for. I don't think that you should be a 15-year-old kid posting all this stuff or a 21-year-old or 25-year-old kid posting all this stuff that's going to come back and potentially haunt you when you are older and more serious. And he doesn't want to invest in something like that. He's Warren Buffett is how old? Oof. He's 88. 88 mm -hmm. years old. Yeah. My question to you, Warren Buffett, why do you care about investing in Facebook when you already paid? Well, a lot of people look to him for um, financial advice or in, financial in, advice, but nobody is asking him to invest in the Facebook. Well, everybody Facebook wants to know what he's going to invest in because he is an investor, you know. So it's like, is this is a hot item? This is a hot commodity. Facebook is moving without Warren Buffett just fine. Right, but it's a it's it's on like everyone's mind. Like, mm -hmm. What's the IPO going to be? Mm -hmm. Who's going to be investing? Is it worth the investment? So of course Warren Buffett comes up in conversation because he is like a, one of the biggest and most successful investors like that we we've, we've seen yeah. that we'll probably see in our lifetime. Yeah, potentially. Mm -hmm. And he says he, he, his quote is he finds it counterproductive. Yeah, well, and I'm going to be a little honest. I know, you know, this is not about my opinion and what I think, but I think that he's kind of right as far as it being a little counterproductive. Okay. It, it can it, be a distraction. It can be. Um, I'm currently not on Facebook because I found it to be a little counterproductive and distracting. Right. Now, but when you want to talk about financial um, advice or financial decisions, whether it's counterproductive or not, it still could be, potentially be a good investment. It's a social network. It's a social network, and that's what's happening now. That's what's social, happening, Warren. It's a social network. So build your own social network, Warren, and have us all invest. I mean, Facebook is not going anywhere. No. It's not going anywhere. So um, I wouldn't care if Warren Buffett invests or not. Warren, give me some of your money. Warren, give me some of your money. Warren, give me some of your money. Invest in the B-Lane. How about that? <laughs> Invest in the B-Lane. <laughs> How about that? And so everybody else can. <laughs> <laughs>